、えー、皆さんおはようございます。Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming in spite of the early starting time of the session. This is a, a fourth session of Innovative City Forum. This is the second day. And the main session for this is about the future of Tokyo. And I'm going to conduct this in the brainstorming style. This is a new trial even for us. I hope that you will enjoy today's session. Tokyo in the future, the Mori Memorial Foundation uh, setting the future vision for Tokyo 2035 under the leadership of Dr. Ichigawa, Ichikawa. And uh, towards the 2020, now we have a great momentum towards the Tokyo Olympics and the Paralympics Games. So lots of projects are taking place towards that goal. But we really have to think of beyond 2020. So that's why we set the vision 2035. You may say, why 35? But、um, if I live up to the Japanese average longevity, then I'm going to be living until 2035. So that's why I think it is 35. But anyway,、um, we are using brainstorming style today. This is the first time for us to try this. At Davos、um, World Economic Forum, this type of session、uh, will be conducted very often. Brainstorming means it's very interactive so that the、uh, panelists are on the stage and then they communicate their thoughts. But at the same time,、uh, we receive comments from the audience so that the discussion is going to be really interactive. There are several reasons for the brainstorming session. We have so many specialists here, and the specialists still sometimes become, makes、uh, mistakes. Uh, history proves at the time of privatization of the Japan Railroad, the,、uh, most of the economists of the transport were against that idea, but、uh, as you know, that it was very successful. So, it is important to have the diversified views. On the Tokyo 2035, even though、uh, Dr. Ishikawa is taking initiative here, we still want to have inputs from you. And the、uh, 2035、um, visions of the specialists should be also shared by many people. And I think this is going to be a very good opportunity for both of you and also specialists to be interactive on this point. Um, so, we enjoy brainstorming s e s s i o n at the World Economic Forum and among other sessions. And sometimes it is very surprising to have the innovative idea from the audience. And、uh, one rule of the、uh, brainstorming is that、uh, we are not really、uh, asking for having the ultimate. Answer to a question. Sometimes the discussion meander and、uh, we may not be able to uh, really uh, concentrate on one topic. But as long as the session inspired you,、uh, that would be one of the goals. So you shouldn't be critical of other people's comments. The discussion should be always constructive and also positive. So, once again, I would like to ask you questions. You have a remote controller, and I done the same thing yesterday.、Uh, let's try this, whether it is working or not. So, this is just a trial. Brainstorming session.、Uh, press one if you have good e x p e c t a t i o n for brainstorming. Uh, press two if you have a question about it. So it's just a, a test for the device. Number one, you have high expectation. Number two, you have concerns. Number one, 159. Questionable, 41. Wow, this was actually contrary to what I expected.、Uh, it gives me a problem because high expectation means that the、uh, organizers get pressure. 
<laughs> because usually the gap between the high expectation level and the reality uh, produces complaints. Uh, so um, it's a bit bewildering for us. Still, this is good. OK, then I'm going to ask you two questions. First question, along with the evolution of the technology and the value, which area of Tokyo will be changed greatly? Number one, work. Number two, living. Number three, mobility. Number four, entertainment. These four are the sub-titles uh, for the uh, sub-committees. So uh, which area do you think you will observe the dramatic changes? Work, living, mobility, entertainment. Please select one. はい、だいぶ溜まってきました。いかがでしょうか。お、働き方が変わる。Work the most least living mobility entertainment are almost the same. So, number the, there are two sessions from 1 to 4. So, this is the level of expectation for different one. Let's go to the second question. Which area do you want to change greatly? The previous, expect, uh, previous question was uh, how much you expect them to change. But number two is which one do you want them to change? So which one? はい、いかがでしょうか。Work, high expectation. Facilitators for four different sessions. Uh, please understand this. So, so much uh, expectation for the work for both questions. All right, then. Uh, Facilitators are the ones uh, who control the sessions. And uh, well, each facilitator invited the resource persons, specialists in that area. So I hope that you will enjoy that session too. Now, I'd like to uh, quote Einstein. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited to all we now know and understand what imagination embraces the entire world. This is a quotation from Albert Einstein. So I hope that uh, this is going to be your experience for today. Thank you very much. Takenaka -sensei, Professor Takenaka, thank you very much. The next. And Professor and Dean of um, Professional Graduate School of Governance Studies, Meiji University, Executive Director of the Hamori uh, Memorial Foundation, will explain on the session outline and outline of um, Tokyo 2035 project. Professor uh, Ichikawa, please. My name is Ichikawa. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, in the morning, and we are going to have an hour 2035, so it's 20 years later how it's going to be, and we are going to have some uh, uh, discuss, and then we are going to have some project. So what we have done in the past, and I'm going to just briefly explain to this. So about um, five years ago, we have started this project with the theme. So 2035, and then we have some of the study of a Tokyo future scenario. There are four results. One is stormy. That is going to be very stormy type of Tokyo. On the right hand side is a clear blue sky. And that is a, a very clear blue sky future. And there are the four patterns that we have already analyzed in the past. And there are some conditions to be made. So KDF, those are the conditions. If it works, it's going to be top right blue sky. So this time, and based on their scenarios. And then to just pursue for the blue sky scenario. 
and how we're going to uh, just start to um, pursue for this and have started. So that is uh, future, however, is um, 20 years later in Tokyo. What are the contents? So that is the very big theme of this session. So from that point of view, the technology will change, and then due to that, the people are going to change. However, that the, uh, the something most important or the easy to understand is how much of the technology portion are going to be changing, and then that is a part. So uh, then we're going to just put those here, and those are the ones in very much in detail in Economist. Uh, in and world into 2015 50s um, and prediction so and those comments of the specialists are going to be gathered so uh, just the human beings may be and uh, living to uh, be uh, 100 years old it's a biological point of view this is fine however the um, in Japan is much less birth rate and then also for an aging society so a, a little bit dangerous so as you can see the Tokyo situation here is a, uh, like a circumstances low birth rate and population aging um, and declines and then for the behaviors of people are very much different so we have to look at this condition to look for the future we have prepared as you can see just for example for the technology and change or transformation what is going to be the AR VR and that is the uh, augmented reality and virtual reality and then at the bottom you can see the drones are going to be flying around and then also I know health may be on changing in a situation advancement of the medical um, the progress then they are going to be changing and then also for the lifestyle and on the left hand side you can see the changing values and technological development so the easiest to understand or the most easy to understand is the driverless vehicles and how it's going to be in the town. So if the uh, drones and uh, they are flying around, how it's going to be. And the holograms, that is more like it's not an uh, entity. However, that is going to just make uh, the world. So um, for the scenario, how it's going to be, what is going to be happening. And for this, and we have studied up the um, expert uh, committee of uh, nine people. I know the top people of the industry and this expertise and then and we have already uh, started to think about and discuss on the uh, the uh, talk the city in 20 years and then starting from june we have already four uh, meetings in the past that future living and the future working and the future mobility and the future entertainment there are four um like a uh, groups uh, that um, and they have already started we have already prepared the four rooms of each other and then we have preliminary discussions finished. So today is a fifth meeting of those groups, and then we are going to proceed um, that uh, discussion. Here is the example that is the um, in 20 years, and how it's going to be in the living. And here is the residential area, how the um, the rooms are going to be. On the right hand side, it's a robot stage. So maybe waiting for us to welcome um, when we come back. So as you can see on the top, and I'm going to uh, show you one room. It looks like the same uh, room. However, as you can see, all the um, the images are going to be uh, displayed on the window. You don't need to have the personal computer. So of course, that is the uh, windows, and they are going to be automatically adjusted, and then due to the uh, weather conditions and climate conditions and outside. And then also, how far the robot is going to be um, coming into a working world? Well, uh, you can really see, and they have some of the uh, job um, like allocation, and they have uh, the role of the robot in the house. It's in 20 years they may be realized this way. As you can see, and at the um, the basement, uh, they are the plant factory, so a very fresh vegetable can be brought uh, from the uh, basement, and then. When Marunouchi in Tokyo has already started this experiment, it's going to be realized, they said. That is another world. And then also on the top floor, and then with the regulation, and then you have to be on green, and top floor is required in some cities. And there is uh, like a farming area on the top of the roof and of the uh, apartment, and it will be realized as well. As you can see here is a driverless and and vehicle and then the car just drives by itself. 
So and due to the certain time frame of the day and then computer controlled, and then they are going to be centrally um, distributed. Uh, and then there is no um, traffic jam you can see on the road. On the right hand side, and there is a drone on the ground, and that's a transport of the um, some luggages and some of the um, the goods are going to be delivered. And as you can see, there is the Sintra um, Street. That is a uh, number two um, route, and it's going to be with the green and the circular road. And then have a driverless bus is going to be uh, there, so it should be uh, realized in 2020. As you can see, and the various vehicles and just uh, limited to the automobiles, and it's many things happening. On the left left hand side, you are going to go inside, and you have to go in the car. However, seat is going to be um, there as well. So just open the door, and the seat is out uh, and is there as well so you can just sit and going inside and then also for the bus as well and for some of the vehicle uh, is uh, autonomous um, driving and um, right bottom you can see this folding type of the vehicle and that is going to be realized as well so we are going to have some brainstorming session for four groups and that we are going to discuss on this matter and we are um, getting um, you as an audience as well. So now how it's going to be in the, your life? So with who, uh, with who, where, and then how will people live? Of course, and technology is advancing, and lifestyle is going to be changing. However, human being and for the value of the people are going to be changed. So uh, how they are going to just matching with the advancement of technology, that is a theme. The second one, future work. And in a questionnaire, and they are asking you, and you, you, want, you want to be changed most is the future work. Why and where, and then how will people work? So in this case, like advancement of the technology, the way of working is different as well. And then uh, if they're going to change the uh, value and sense of the value or not. So I'm not sure we can expect this much. However, I hope that the facilitator is going to be um, in the and uh, working very hard to uh, get a very good uh, result. And the next one is a future mobility that is most advanced and that is in an experimental or demonstrative uh, phase. So some. Um, and of course, that for the specialist came here, and it's already started the experiment, and then for demonstration. So this is going to be where it's going to be actually. So it's a very advanced. And then the next one, sorry, is a typo. That's a future entertainment. It's the fourth is not the mobility, but entertainment. Um, and you you can just enjoy your life, and then it's various way of enjoying. And they have some equipment to enjoy, and then for the mean to uh, enjoy, it looks uh, very different or changing. However, the time goes, like the contents of uh, your joy or the pleasure probably not change. That is a hypothesis. One example, for example, Pokemon Go is very unpopular, and uh, what it is. That is just correcting insects when you are doing. So that means that when you're children, you just get uh, insects and uh, physically. However, now you're catching the uh, Pokemon. So uh, substantially, it's the same thing you're doing. The way of um, the pleasure or the uh, way of doing um, some um, entertainment is different. So anyway, and for the advancement of technology, the uh, sense of value is very different and changed, and you have something uh, new to um, create it. So that is the uh, big theme. So there are the four themes I have mentioned. So uh, there are two words, and Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge, and for knowledge is limited to all we know and know and understand, and while imagination embraces entire world. And then June Bell said, anything one man can imagine, other men can make real. So we have to believe those two words and the phrases, and we can do it, and we have to do it. And then I'd like uh, to entertain your participation, and thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Ichikawa. Now let's uh, hear from the facilitators. 
for each of the uh, four groups. Uh, well, Dr. Uh, Takenaka and the facilitators, uh, please come up to the stage. Professor Takenaka, please. So what is going to be discussed in each of the groups? Uh, we have uh, the facilitator uh, of each of the groups uh, here to explain to us uh, the overview of each of the uh, groups. This is going to be a, a brainstorming session, so you're going to take part. But these people uh, are going to be playing the central roles. And uh, there are several uh, resource persons, and persons supporting uh, the discussion. And uh, there's going to be a facilitator who is going to fa facilitate all the discussions. So future living uh, from responsibility. Uh, he, this is uh, Dr. Adachi, uh, Dr. Naoki uh, Adachi. He's uh, studying biodiversity and uh, various other aspects as well. This is Adachi speaking. So we're going to discuss future living, how we are going to be uh, living in 20 years, and I'm going to facilitate the discussions. When we talk about uh, uh, living, well, uh, it includes uh, uh, clothing, uh, housing, and food. Uh, but uh, uh, work and mobility uh, are going to be discussed in other sessions. So in our session, we're going to focus on the actual living, the personal living of individuals, how we're we going to live our lives. The way people live uh, is going to be impacted uh, by uh, the technology uh, and the environment. I think that there is that uh, big impact from those two factors. And since yesterday, we've been discussing various things, uh, IOT, uh, or autonomous driving of cars. Uh, those things are going to dramatically impact our lives. And also, for what do we live? Uh, that's a philosophical uh, question. We don't plan to go into that philosophy, but uh, actually, we, in our lives, we work. Uh, we spent a lot of time working uh, to earn a living, and the working part is going to be discussed in the uh, future work session. But uh, we, I think that uh, we're going to be liberated more from work, so we're going to be able to spend more time in our lives, just living our lives. What are people going to do when that becomes a reality? That's what I would like to discuss. Uh, in this session, we have three resource persons. From Stratasys Japan, we have the president CEO, Mr. Hiroaki Katayama. Uh, he, this is the company that's introducing 3D printers to Japan. Also from Rakuten Inc., we have the executive officer, Mr. Keisuke Ichihara. Uh, Rakuten needs no introduction, it uses the internet uh, infrastructure to change people's lives. The third speaker is uh, the president and CEO of Leaveness uh, Company. Dr. Uh, Yukihiro Maru. You may not be familiar with this company, but through education, they're trying to change society. They're doing very interesting things. So we have these uh, three uh, speakers. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, discuss how we're going to uh, change our lives or how our lives are going to change. Thank you very much. Next, future work. Uh, the uh, biggest expectation was shown for this. We have Ms. Ms. Izumi Okoshi, head of the Dentsu Innovation Institute, as a facilitator. This is Okoshi. Well, there was a high expectation, but that means that uh, uh, you are really interested in this topic uh, and uh, you personally uh, think this is important. And uh, of course, in terms of uh, technology, AI, robots are going to have the biggest impact to how we work. What the kind of impact that will have on work itself? That is something we must first address. And in addition to that, we have uh, resource persons to uh, discuss the possibility of a new way of work. Actually, these are people who are already providing uh, ideas about new types of work uh, from Crowdworks and the Coconala. We have uh, the CEOs of both of those uh, companies who already are providing such new type of or new form of work. So is, they're going to explain what's actually already happening in Japan. So that information will be shared with uh, the group. And uh, 
how is that going to impact the labor market and the economy as a whole when the work changes or, or the mode of work changes what kind of impact will that have on the world is something we like to discuss and here your imagination is going to be quite important so i hope uh, we will have a uh, active discussion there and uh, you showed the high expectation for this uh, i think uh, it that uh, we are ready for a change we expect change and we're preparing ourselves to be uh, accepting that change so with uh, imagination around 2035 we should think what is the most desirable form of work so we should use our imagination and we should also incorporate uh, our hopes and we should have uh, strong uh, feelings about what we want to see uh, in 2035 so n let's uh, not uh, just be receptive or passive uh, let's uh, think what we really want to create for ourselves for the future and that's going to be the key factor in our discussions thank you very much the third group is future mobility professor ichikawa already talked about this so i think uh, there are already uh, concrete ideas that are moving forward so how is that all, all going to be put together uh, so uh, we have uh, uh, Mr. Koji Koizumi uh, of IoT News and some other businesses as well as facilitator. This is Koizumi. We're going to discuss future mobility and I'll be acting as a facilitator. Now, mobility, uh, we talk about the sharing economy and autonomous driving. There are already uh, many key words appearing in the scene. Some have already been realized. I think you see that in newspaper articles. This time, uh, we have Mr. Nobe of Intel, and also from ZMP, we have President Taniguchi uh, and Mr. Kanaya of Akipa. So together with them, and together with you, the audience, we're going to discuss how mobility is going to change in the future. If mobility changes, then the city will change, and our lives will change. So the environment that you live in is going to be impacted by the change in mobility. So how is that change going to take uh, shape? Is it a good thing for you or a bad thing for you? That is what we would like to include uh, in our discussions. I look forward to our group discussion. Thank you very much. Mr. Koizumi, uh, I introduced you as Kozo Koizumi. You're actually Koji uh, Koizumi. Sorry, I misread your Chinese characters. So the fourth group, Future Entertainment, uh, we heard already from uh, Professor Ichikawa. Uh, he's a facilitator, uh, so he's an expert uh, in uh, urban engineering. So how is that connected to entertainment? Well, I'm starting to see the picture now, but can you elaborate? So the fourth session is entertainment. What is entertainment? That definition is difficult, but we would like to focus on uh, four points. First, indoor entertainment. How is that going to change? In a nutshell, what we're talking about here is, well, you have the PlayStation and the Wii, and then now we have the social games. So we see that evolution. You can have a lot of entertainment uh, uh, indoors. So what's the trend of the changes? And when we think about the future, we first have to look at what's been the trend in the past. So that's the indoor part. And then outside of the house, outdoor facilities. First, uh, the movies. Now we have all, all these developments, but still movies are popular. Uh, why? Well, in the past, uh, we had uh, 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 silent movies, but now it's become 3D, 4D movies, uh, very immersive. And so we like to uh, think about uh, the future evolution of that. Now, uh, in terms of facilities, uh, well, you have uh, uh, multifaceted entertainment in the shopping centers. Uh, uh, so com uh, there are changes taking place in the shopping centers, and uh, so entertainment is offered at the shopping centers and like to discuss what is the future trend of uh, shopping centers and then lastly we like to really go outside into the world and uh, well of course uh, urban planning has an impact but from the viewpoint of entertainment 
we have new opportunities opportunities to enjoy the outdoors. Uh, recent example, uh, Tokyo Station, there's the projection mapping, and uh, but that was too popular and was cancelled because there was too big a crowd. But uh, that's been uh, an experiment. Uh, and, and at the Shimokamo, Shimokamo uh, Shrine in Kyoto, they release balloons. And uh, the, people don't know what that is, but uh, they feel something is happening. So uh, there must be, uh, those must be uh, clues for the future. So uh, maybe with the all the technological change, people's uh, feelings have not changed. Or there's the, uh, uh, the other school of thought that all the change will change people's thinking. So we like to discuss that, and uh, we like to explore entertainment 20 years from now. It's a limited time, but I hope that we can draw some conclusions. Thank you very much. So we heard uh, from the four speakers, and I think uh, you, some of you are nodding, uh, or some of you are thinking, no, I don't agree with what was just said. So uh, please uh, uh, provide your input in each of the group sessions. So let's hear from two more people uh, to comment on these four sessions. Innovative City Forum started yesterday, and both of them participated all day yesterday. So first of all, from MIT Media Lab, Mr. Dr. Joichi Ito, to talk about yesterday's comment. Please take the floor. It took 30 seconds for me to just come up to this podium. Well, I had two sessions yesterday. First one is about the artificial intelligence, and uh, Dr. Yagars, uh, a principal uh, scientist of the Google, and also Dr. Kitano of Sony gave talks. And um, sci-fi, uh, you sometimes have uh, artificial figures such as Terminator, and, and that is uh, one side of the AI. But when we start talking about it, that in the, that's not really uh, relevant to what we are seeing at this moment. So we talk about the uh, much more different types of AI. Um, Dr. Yarka said that the AI is being developed. And he shared some of the examples that the uh, AI can also produce creativities. And also he mentioned about the biases, including the uh, uh, race, um, uh, the bias, and uh, the racism is also included in these different types of uh, uh, judgment in the AI, so that uh, we should really teach the ethics and also sense of rules in the societies to the AI. And um, since the AI can augment the uh, various functionalities of the so society so that uh, it is going to be augmented, but we can't really just leave it at the uh, free will. We really have to control the overall evolution of the AI. We also discussed a little bit about the work. Uh, it is related to the future work. So w the specialists have to design uh, the AI to be in a better shape. And the result there is that we have to depend on the biology. And uh, the Dr. Oxman uh, talked about the, uh, this uh, biology. The Japanese architects were influenced by the biology. And uh, at that time, the tools and also the level of science were not really developed so that they used the science as a metaphor. But now we have the level of tools and then science and technology uh, which can really uh, convert the science or biology into the architecture itself, um, even for the products and an AI. So we discussed about the uh, AI, biology, and also city, and also design. So thank you very much for your summary yesterday. Um, then director of the Mori Art Museum, uh, Mr. Nanjo. I had two sessions too. One is about the universe, and uh, we discussed uh, what would be the living of the human being in the extreme environment. And another one is the how do we preserve the history and uh, uh, identity of Asian region. 
living is one of the brainstorming themes. So when I uh, pick up that aspect in the universe, the diet and also the uh, housings, the food chain and also the cuisines, uh, how uh, we uh, maintain this uh, level of lifestyle there on the Mars. And as for the uh, housings, how do we maintain the comfortable living atmosphere on the, Mar on the Mars? And that type of technology can be useful uh, for the future uh, if the environment gets really deteriorated for the human beings to live in. And Dr. Amin Chi um, shared the Georgetown example, how to preserve the old history. It is not just uh, um, buildings, but also intangible culture uh, should be preserved. And also Mr. Ng is the architect. And uh, when he designed uh, his buildings, he always tried to put the society and the people in the center of his design. So for the future, a human-centered design will be critical. As for work, robotics, AI, uh, these words often appeared in our discussion. Um, the point of view is critical when you discuss the work. Yukinari uh, Yanagi, the artist, said that the artist uh, doesn't want to be forced to do something. Art has a free, artist has a free will, and uh, art shouldn't be the one which contributing to the society. Art is just the art, isolated um, items from the society. So it is almost like a playfulness, not really utility model. And also at the sport gym, like some people uh, do the weight training and uh, uh, using the uh, uh, heavy weights, but the people are working uh, in, on the road for construction that, that they feel like uh, uh, they are actually uh, making money uh, by uh, moving around the heavy uh, things so that the, uh, that is interchangeable between the weight training in the gym. Um, as for mobility, uh, when you think of the transporting goods and logistics overall, going into the universe could be wasteful because if you want to explore the universe, you can just send robots. Why do we have to send human? And uh, information technology means that the far away information can come near to you. But again, you can also send human beings to far away places. As for the play or playfulness, what is the play? The definition of the play itself may change. The Tom Sachs, he is full of humor and wit. And uh, he was very uh, fun uh, person. And he said that the culture itself is full of uh, uh, playfulness. Thank you. All right, we are running out of time. So now you have to uh, move into different rooms. You already registered yourself to different sessions. Um, four rooms uh, scattered on the fourth and then fifth floor. A little over one hour, you're going to have a discussion. Then after that, we will have a wrap-up session here in this room. So mobility to fourth floor, fifth floor on foot. So you have to walk yourself. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the session. Thank you.